Hi, welcome back to Blatheria. I'm John Caparulo. And I'm Brian Shenanigan. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks for thanks for joining us. We're uh we're 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 back live. We actually we went a couple weeks where yeah, I had some uh some travel problems. So yeah, we haven't we haven't been back here for a little uh, for a minute. So yeah. So we're 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 back in the we're we're back in the Blatheria bowl. I don't fucking know. Anyway, it's, uh, um, is, is that like a trivia thing in the Blatheria Bowl? Yeah, it, it, it's no, it's not. Uh, it, it's uh, but uh, um, I guess you brought to my attention before before we go into anything, we're, we should clear this yes, up. Yes, we're doing we a, retraction. a retraction. Yes, in episode eight, uh, we discuss how Alec Baldwin shot and killed someone on the set of Rust. Uh, we referred to we we both thought mistakenly that it was because two people were shot the director and I think the cinematographer was the lady now the lady died we thought the guy died so we misgendered the person that died we apologize it, all for the that. same shit applies yes. though I mean a person got shot and died when there's no reason why they should have got shot and died now I said it was a guy a lot of times. You might have said it a few times, but yes. I said it a lot. No, and we both it, misread the, the we, sentiment. We is the same, the so just yeah. replace uh, uh, the 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 guy with person, and yes. it's all the yes. same shit. We, so, so there we, mis- we go. We misgendered the person, but that is our retraction. That we apologize, but the but everything it, it else still stands. It doesn't make it any less terrible. And so, if you watch yeah, the episode, it is, it is you saw how is. passionate we were about the topic, so everything stands on it. So, yeah, I, I don't, and I and I I don't. I don't believe I would have been any less passionate no, because it's still the same thing. I mean, just because I was uh, under-informed about it doesn't mean I'm not going to fucking soapbox the shit out of it. <laughs> and uh, here we are. So well, here yeah. we are. But uh, yeah, so now we got that cleared up. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, we're we're uh, we're well, back here. Yeah. Where, um, where you been, Cap? I've where been, been. Well, I was in. Uh, I was. Uh, where was I? Uh, uh, You're in Tampa? Albany, Tampa, Milwaukee. Uh, I was in. I, I did three weeks straight of uh, going on road trips, and uh, yeah, a lot of uh, real comedy life. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it, and yeah, I got back yesterday for uh, Mother's Day and. Jamie and Madden were in Lake Havasu, so <laughs> they, for my Mother's Day gift was they, they didn't Take make me go to fucking Lake Havasu because yes. yeah, that's a that's a that's a place of a. Ri- I mean, talk about like that, that place scarred me long, long ago when I was early on in comedy, and uh, you don't I go don't, back. I don't want to return. You don't um, go back. <laughs> so it's, you don't uh, go down that road. I don't want to. <laughs> I, 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 no, I don't. Or that lake. See, that was uh, the worst part. Is that, like it wasn't so much. I mean, the show was terrible, but it was the fact that I got held hostage there for two more days after a bad show mm-hmm. like and I and I got stuck like with spring breakers and like my my friends were like we're. <laughs> We were like, come on, we're gonna rent a boat. I'm like, we're, that's not gonna get us home. Like, why are we getting, why are we renting a boat? And uh, yeah, it's out in the middle of a fucking lake where people are I'm like, where do, where do I pee? Will you just jump in? Uh, but <laughs> where do no, I poo? There's no current. Same thing. Like, does that does that bother anybody <laughs> out here? That you're just gonna jump in the toilet? I, no. Okay, great. So yeah, uh, I, but they they just got back uh, right about the time you arrived tonight. So. Uh, Everybody's home, so hi. <laughs> Everybody's home, and we're back here recording again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How Cap, are you? Uh, yeah. How's there, how's there oh, been? it's been a hell of a couple weeks. Yeah? Know? We had the anime convention, and right, then, uh, right. We then talked I, about I, that. I, yeah. I told you I had my set where I bombed for billionaires. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Was, uh, really? Well, oh, uh, billionaires are always a great comedy uh-huh. crowd. Uh, yep. <laughs> billionaires just finished a 12-course meal and know they were going for entertainment and did not know it was comedy. Right, right, and uh, and uh, conservative. It's basically what we talked Christian, about the last time. Old people. Oh, Christian too. Oh, yeah, conservative fantastic, Christian, old yeah. people, hardcore Trump people, like hardcore. <laughs> oh God, like, I, I, don't, I don't understand how that even adds up. Okay, because you're you're hardcore Trump, but you're you're Christian. Like really? I mean, how much do you have to fucking ignore to just be like, no, no, I'm I'm getting behind that guy. He's the worst person in the, the world, but I mean, I'm just, I'm still going to fucking support him because he'll save me on taxes. Like, fuck off, man. Really? It, it, it just, it, that doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So it did not know? go well. And it was 20 minutes of it not going well. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. And then I did, I, I still manned up after that show. I went and thanked everybody for coming. I did my thing. I got my money. I went home. 
It was just, it is what it is. They fed us pizza after. It was like Why a, did like you a stay cheese party. For pizza. So it was free pizza. Is pizza re really? They had $150,000 pizza. I mean, you really after. had that your pride is worth that little they, that they, still, <laughs> after after your spiritual de as 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 a po as a poo once said, you 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 you. You get fucking, you have these fucking snooty fucking hypocritical billionaires uh -huh. fucking don't laugh at you and fucking just uh -huh. look down their nose at you for 20 minutes while you try to make them laugh uh, uh, like a fucking court jester, basically. Yep. And it's like, at the end of all that, you get in the car, you just go, you, you go home and, and you're like, no, fucking dough sauce and cheese they, is, is, and is worth pizza it. Oven. They had a master pizza shop. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no pizza. The fat man There is me. no pizza <laughs> worth fucking staying. You don't break bread with these motherfuckers. Like, it's so You just, you walk away and you never know them again. It, it, it's over. It's mm -hmm. over at that point. You don't, you don't hang out. I have I have uh, cats fucking with our backdrop. It's by the great. Way, but that's you know. It adds for a sense of motion that you will enjoy. So all. yeah, we're not outside. <laughs> it's it's not a wind. Yeah, in here. there are there are cats wrestling with the uh, with the backdrop. So you don't. Does so. so that mean you don't want me to tell you about the gelato they gave me either? Jesus Christ! You stay for fucking dessert too. It was an eighty thousand dollar gelato machine he wanted to show me. They took me in the kitchen. I had to go back. You went on a tour? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What was he trying to fuck you? Like, I don't what, know. The fuck, what the hell is that about? Why? Oh why? God. Why would you? Why would you go? Like what? Like you know? Like how did that conversation even start? Like because normally, okay, like if it goes well, like hey, you're really funny. Hey, do you want to have some pizza with us? So that guy goes out and goes, wow, you suck. Why don't you come look at this gelato machine? Because you're going to be working with one soon. <laughs> like, what the, why would you want to do that to yourself? I don't understand, man. Because, you know, we own the ice cream store. And I was talking to him about opening the ice cream store. And they had some of the same same things and problems and stuff. So he had, he had to show off his expensive kitchen equipment to me. Do you really think that you saying that to me is going to make me go, nope. Oh, okay, yeah. Not at now, all. Now it makes sense, Not Ryan. at all. Now I understand why you fucking... And you, when I've retold you, this you just, story... You, 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 you put your fucking dignity in your jacket jacket pocket and fucking went on the tour anyway jesus christ and when i dude. retold this story to my friends they were like you were so passionate about how good the gelato was <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was like the set i like lost you over you were able to enjoy the like, gelato oh that gelato was good what the but... fuck man it's like as i'm saying like i won't even go back to lake havasu city arizona because oh my God. 20 plus years ago i had a bad set and then I had to stay there for two extra days and fucking mm -hmm. uh, and, and play spring break with my fucking thirty year old friends. So I, I I just to me it's I don't yeah we just we uh, we walk through life a yes. bit differently. Yes, here. you I, didn't uh, stay for the pizza party. Oh man, no oh, man. I me and my and orange grudge, slices. Me and my grudge are leaving, mm -hmm. and we don't want to mm -hmm. see you motherfuckers again. Is mm -hmm. that's how that goes, man. Fuck that. Yeah. So it was. Uh... It was something, and it was definitely, uh, definitely a, a night. And then you know, had some had some good shows since that have kind of erased that. And I'm like, well, that's that's that's, that's good. Thank I God. Mean, ge generally, that's yeah. That's no, it's the like whole you said, you, gotta get you can't have too horse, many man. wins. You can't have too many losses. You know. So yeah, no, you can't have too much either. Yeah, you have to balance it out, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I'm, I I feel more a balance in the force now. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you... Pizza party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, okay. The first, okay. Uh, our first article here, you guys. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right now. A Minnesota man invents beer-powered motorcycle. Why? <laughs> he don't drink. <laughs> well, I he saw that. Drink. I saw he said he didn't drink, which I, you know, I I I, I don't either. So um, I I don't, you know, I I, I just. But still, when you read further into the article, it's like they really put the beer-powered thing in there as, like, clickbait. Because in, in all honesty, it's like any fucking liquid it's that a, you put in there. It's a steam-powered motorcycle. It's, yeah, it's just steam-powered. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so you can make beer steam or you uh -huh. can make fucking water, water steam, steam or you can make whatever. I mean, yeah, anything that steams is going to, you know... Because uh, it's basically, yeah, he said he, 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 he gets it up to, like, 300 degrees or something, which... I didn't know that. Is that possible? Because I thought it was, wasn't it? I, okay, because wait, it's 100 degrees Celsius that bought water boils 212 Fahrenheit. So how do you get hotter than boiling? 
Also, it's 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 overboiled, so it's just a hot steam. This is why my motorcycle charged. didn't work, by the way. <laughs> this is why your robot didn't work, Homer. You didn't this have any of this stuff say. inside. <laughs> Father. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I didn't have all those things inside. Yeah, right, the little... But I tell you, I'm saying, like, I, I just... I mean, that's what... Out of all the things in this beer-powered motorcycle that interests me is... does. Does water get hotter than it already when it boils? It's already boiling. So how's it get? How's did it? How is it getting up to two fifteen, two twenty, three hundred Fahrenheit when it's already you know steaming? It's going away. Well, it's, so, it's in a sealed system, so it's just hyper you know pressurized like hot steam running through this coil. So you the are the gelato color. expert, so I guess <laughs> I should listen God to you right it. now. What the fuck? I just say, I, I, I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's one of those things that are like, okay, I mean, I, okay, it, 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 now that I'm thinking about it, though, is like, did he really invent a beer-powered no. motorcycle? Because he the steam, steam engine was invented <laughs> a long time, like before the yes. gas-powered one was. Yes. So what exactly did you create? Um, man invents wheel. Like it's yes. like okay, great, that's fantastic. Oh yeah, he 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 made a he made a circular object that rolls <laughs> out of beer cans. Like oh man, that's uh -huh. awesome. Yep. You you invented the wheel like again again. It, it, I, yeah, I I will never be the same. I am uh, thoroughly unimpressed, sir. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I I don't. I mean, it's just at least this was a hundred. Like I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, cause I don't drink. I'm like, yeah, something I can do with all the beer I got in my fridge. But I'm like, oh, when he's like at the end, there, he's like, it can run on coffee. It can run on yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much. And I'm like, run on. You could run on pee. You so, could so, pee in there, and you could boil your pee. <laughs> now, probably you wouldn't want any. Nobody would want to ride with you. I don't know. You know, because That's a I doubt anybody would fetish. anyway. Because I'm thinking that that it, it, that thing's got to get. I mean, you got to feel the heat from that somewhere too, mm -hmm. right? I yeah. mean, your your fucking to steam the, engine, the hot pee like, in what? your loins there. <laughs> it's like, Hot, yeah, I, I, come come ride on Huck Finn's fucking motorcycle with me. It's fucking hot. It's really hot. Don't touch anything. Don't touch because everything. everything is literally really. Mm -hmm. It's 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 uh it will fucking scald you. So yeah, it's everything is really hot and it'll hurt. But amazing, amazing. Yeah, I mean, like if you look at the picture, it's like of it's like you're sitting on a keg. It's of course, like yeah, big, that's what like I'm saying. Giant, like it, well, when you think about it, I mean, because it's, it's, it's a still. You're sitting on a still. Well, because <laughs> I, I mean, because I mean, even like when you think about like the first, uh, you know, the first cars and like how fucking just unbelievably slow they were and like how bumpy the ride and everything was, but still at that time, you know, people were like, man, this beats the fuck out of uh, walking or uh, my horse, you know? I mean, it's uh, <laughs> so it's like, but it's still, it's like, I just, I don't understand why you would want to. Uh, like here, this is like, this is like a, a, a motorcycle except worse. You know, it's like we, we've progressed way past this thing, but here I'm going to invent this thing that's like shit that's already been invented. Yeah, just, let's go. To it the goes next back. Thing. This it is goes, just, it's going backwards. I, 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 I don't have time for your nonsense, <laughs> sir. Um, but, but yeah, good luck with your, uh, fucking good. beer cycle. Well, that dude also, he invented like a rocket powered toilet. And like a bunch of other now, stuff. Now, see, that I'd be interested in. What, how's a, what a rocket power? You mean like with a It was a stainless suction? steel toilet, and it was it was a rocket thing. He rode down the road. It was oh, it's like it was for propulsion. Yeah. I was thinking like for flushing, because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I like a power flush. I'm like, just, yeah. Like, no chance of, no chance of clogs. Mm-hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I... Like an airplane Did you just toilet. give me a judgmental, mm -hmm. No. What the fuck, I was 100% in agreement. <laughs> I was 100%. Don't, but, no, I, I was in agreement I, on the what, disposal of my waste but, being but like super with my, fast. With my, the, the toilet that I got, uh, I, like, in my personal can. I, uh, <laughs> it, uh, like, I got the one from, uh, um, it was Home Depot. When, and the, and somehow, somehow the guy working there looked right at me, he's like, you want the one that can flush all these billiard balls down at once. <laughs> like, like, yes, yes, I do, sir. And uh, you big, look like wide, you do big, big wide neck on it or something. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could flush. You could, you could, uh. you could flush a fucking groundhog down there, and it'd be like, yeah, all right, next. I mean, it's, I would, it's I would that, love that toilet. Oh. Yeah, 
Like yeah, I have, I have an apartment toilet. I'm in a constant. I'm flushing twenty times to make sure that shit fucking yeah. Goes back yeah. See, and, and you I've know, always the been a, flows. I've always been a multi flusher too, where it's like you know, I I you know, you like to you you want to flush your meat before you get into your napkin. You want to get you, know, you want to do get, it in sections. Yeah, you don't want to section it out. You don't want to put yourself you do down there with it. So it's like it's uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but. The guy died. Anyway. <laughs> oh, well, that takes us to the next story, which is a great thing. So a uh, TikTok trend, I'm putting this article on the screen, a uh, TikTok trend leads to fruit roll-up woes in Israel. Okay? What, so, so they just don't, well, they don't just, they don't sell them in Israel? Is all right, so our, oh, of course, most of our food that we consume in America, I would say most of the middle part of our grocery store, Mm-hmm. Is illegal to import into most other countries. Really? Yes. Most countries, like Europe, does not impro- import any of our. There's not a hot pocket in in Europe. They don't import any of that stuff because all of our food is not considered food. Really? Yeah. So they they don't import these because they're so hopped up on sugar that uh, they don't want that for the local youngins to have this much sugar intake in a tasty snack. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. But when it comes to fruit roll-ups, you might but, be, you might be missing out because uh, yeah, because fruit roll-ups. Well, because they were talking about like all these different ways that people were like somebody was wrapping it in ice cream. Yeah, or something so that, like that. that's the whole TikTok thing. Is you take a fruit roll-up. So I used to have a I used to have a fruit roll-up in my lunch every day. Every when my day. mom packed my lunch for me when I was in school. And I had the Generico ones where it was just called roll-up. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, we, yeah, we had. Where was a generic? We never. Like, got, fruit I, I don't think we had uh, g- generic fruit rolls. We had generic they were like, like really Doritos dark and shit, red. But generic fucking cola. Or my mom tried to get us the healthy. Like, I had that food club cola. Remember, I just said cola. Look at mine. It's got a cat <laughs> and a king on it. I don't know if you guys can see this at home. We got a cat and a king on my fruit roll up. I'm really. Uh... Oh, is there so how do you how do you fruit roll up? How do you cap? eat your fruit roll up? Oh, I I know how I eat, I eat my fruit roll up, dude. I I. Uh, See, I, I just make mine into a chaw. Oh, see, I, I'm a I'm a Ow. I'm a folder. Like I put it in like the like a dip, like almost like yeah. Yeah, mine's more of a tobacco, like that gross, mm-hmm. like catcher tobacco or whatever. Like yeah. <laughs> like before snuff was a, really a big thing. I mean, you, like I used to have uncles that chewed tobacco with a big, big ball of shit in their mouth. Fucking spitting shit. Like, Wow, you kissed my aunt with that mouth? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't have much to say in this nope. subject. Nope, nope, food. Other than... I mean, but it's yeah. fucking, it's delicious. It is, it really, I mean. You can taste the sugar, the chemicals, the glory, the things they don't want to poison their youth with. And <laughs> look, hey, I, I get it. I mean, because most of our, yeah. They're, they're, this is like, being treated like drugs there. There's busts. Mm-hmm. People are, that is a picture of a bust. <laughs> they are doing this shit like contraband. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. there's like, we got the fentanyl problem, but we got this fruit roll up problem. You don't even know. Yeah, like. The thing is, is, yeah, we let both of them in. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. We just say it's a problem. But, mm hmm. Well, well, it's, uh, um, I mean, I get it. I mean, you know, it's like it, it, it's uh, sugar is uh, sugar is definitely largely responsible for my physique <laughs> and uh, and my sore foot. <laughs> so uh, fruit roll-ups, this, uh, they're doing these busts, and they got this guy in this article with a hundred pounds of fruit roll-ups in his bag. <laughs> the black market price of, a, of one fruit roll up on the Israel black market is six dollars. That's crazy, man. Six dollars, really? six for bucks for one of these, bucks. man. Really? Damn. Cap. I think the whole box was. Cap, I think huh? we gotta. That's a big gotta, ass box too. I think we gotta do some Amazon drops. Yeah, this thing was. <laughs> this, this, like, this box <laughs> probably worth like three hundred bucks or something. Shit, that's all right. Mm-hmm. 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 You didn't know you had the chronic in your house, did you? Didn't you have that good? good? Well, I mean, because I, mean, I, I know, I know if I'm gonna get a good price for my fruit roll-ups. The place that I definitely want to go is Israel. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> I mean, cause, because I know they're known for coughing up a lot of cash for uh, <laughs> for everything. So yeah, I'm. Uh, um, it's a uh, it's you're, a really uh, it's kidding. a cheap joke. All right, but still, it's kind of funny because when, when you think about it, it's like I mean, if there's anything they're gonna splurge on is really is fruit roll ups. Mm-hmm. Really, <laughs> they're, just, they're thrifty people. You know, when I mean, it comes to sugary snacks. Yeah, right. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> but your your uh, your your kid does a lot of the TikTok stuff. Have you done the fruit roll up challenge with this thing? I, what is the fruit roll up challenge? I guess I, I guess it's the whole thing is where you uh, you wrap a spoonful of ice cream in a fruit roll up and eat it. See that that would be one of those things that me and my kid would say the same thing on. You're 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 ruining two things. Well, and and the, See, because you got two good things, why would you fuck them both up? But because you're you're making one bad thing out of two good things. Because it's just gonna get hard from the ice cream as it starts to get cold. Right, it's just yuck. Well, and it says like it gives a satisfying crunch. And I, never when I was eating both ice cream or fruit roll ups did I go, uh, you know what's missing from this? Crunch. Yeah, I mean, because I, I like look. Okay, ice cream's good if like if, if you're talking about you want to crunch. Like okay, I like a chocolate shell, like a you know, like a like a. I love a magic shell. Right, like, a magic shell yeah. or a Klondike bar, or, or something like that. Or yeah, a, where you have or a the drumstick, that drumstick top. Right, <laughs> and 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 I've never that nutty drumstick top you're talking about. Like yeah, yeah that see, I've never. I get why others might like that. I've never been into those myself. Well, I, I, I like the ones without the nuts. Okay, I okay, like the, I like those ones better. Where see, it's I, chocolate. It, Right, those it's, dip, yeah, there's just a regular yeah, the dip yeah. cone, yeah. Because like are that good. Dairy Queen dip cone, like ooh. Right, and like, I, I just, I just don't. But I mean, a fruit roll up around ice cream just sounds gross. It just, it just yeah. sounds because they're two textures that don't go together well. I mean, because how big of the scoop of ice cream is wrapped in this, and are you eating it in one bite? I mean, we show. I mean, it's this is a square about that. Like, I mean, so yeah, how big of a bite is this of ice cream? Am I cutting this up into smaller? Because yeah, are you squares? making are you making a little ice cream burrito out of it? I or guess. Because that's that's. Yes, I don't it know. It still doesn't sound appetizing sound to me really at all. It just right sounds like we're like I don't know. I'm not looking at TikTok. It's not this. about an age <laughs> thing though, because it really does. I mean, I don't care how old you. I mean, it still comes down to a taste thing, and it just doesn't. It just seems like you're 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 really ruining your ice cream and your fruit roll up. I think you should just keep them separate. And enjoy both for what well, they and are. What flavor of ice cream? Because I, look, but again, you know, maybe I'm. You know, okay, you're. You know, you talked about the ice cream store, and you're in the ice cream biz. Uh, I, you know, I always uh, like. I hate those places like like Cold Stone, like where you go and they have all that fucking extra shit to put in the ice cream. Uh-huh. Like, wh- when did when did you want to like? When, when was there a time like you're eating ice cream and you're like, no, you know what? You know who needs to be invited to this party is gummy bears. Like, that just sounds, that just is gross. It's like you, because you're supposed to, I mean, because then all you'll have left is just some, like, milky fucking gummy bears left in your mouth. Because the ice cream's going to go first. Mm -hmm. And then you're just, then you get, now you got gummy bears that you ruined with some ice cream in there. And I I don't, I've never understood, I've never understood that. Like, I've never understood the appeal of adding extra junk to my fucking ice cream. Like, just enjoy your ice cream. I mean, you don't need to improve on it. It's fucking ice cream. Well, I mean, that's the basis of all those yogurt places is like, right, like our yeah. yogurt's not good enough. Put all this right, shit on Right, right. Yeah, here, you let know? me, like, here's, yeah, yeah, just, let, let, me bears let me add some nonsense and, to my ice yeah. cream. And it's like, why? Why Why do we have all this extra shit on top of the ice cream? It's not, you're fucking up the ice cream. And I, I don't, yeah. I mean, other than hot fudge, whipped cream, keep, just get well, out. See, and when I was a kid, though, like I loved that bubblegum ice cream when I was a kid. Bubblegum ice yeah, cream? Yeah. It was from Thrift. Thrifties had a bubblegum ice cream where it had bubblegum, like whole bubblegum inside of it, and you'd eat the ice cream. Really? I never, I never had that. Yeah. I know the bubblegum flavor. No, but it I was, never. It actually had bubblegum. Actually had in bubblegum in it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It just sounds awful. I mean, it was great because it was like a, it was like a, um, Almost like a rainbow sherbet with ice cream in it, or with a uh, with bubblegum in it. It was really good. See, you know, would have been better than that. Would have been rainbow fucking sherbet. Oh yeah, without fucking gum. But when like, I was, why would you put gum in there? But when I was eight, that shit was delicious. But the thing is, is like you just have the remnants of uh, old ice cream in your gum, and then it just it's, then it just becomes gross gum. And it's not yeah, it's not the best gum as it it's is. It's not yeah. gum. Yeah. It's not good at all. No, it's, it's like I, I'd rather have gum that touched fucking baseball cards than fucking gum that was. Mm-hmm surrounded in ice cream that's awful that's just but honestly i blame ben and jerry they're the ones the first ones they brought out the like the cookie dough and they started putting all the crap in it and that's what kind of started the jam crap and ice cream craze what? before was it really yeah i mean, I mean that was I mean, when we got yeah, the cookie dough i mean i read the stuff, cookie dough food the cookie dough at least cherry garcia I, I, see i never got into that I, I i mean i got into cookie dough a little bit i you know i had a phase with cookie dough when i was like man, how can i get fatter <laughs> and, uh, and, and I did. I mean, I liked I liked cookie dough as, 
But it, it still seems to, like, cookie dough seems to go along with, you know, you know, it seems to be a natural progression thing. Like, you know, cookies like and cookies milk. and cream. Cookies and, cookies and yeah. cream is a great yeah. ice cream flavor. It's, it, 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 it works because it mixes together right and it's the right shit. But it's like it, gummies aren't, it's not a thing that you have with anything because they don't, they don't, they don't hang out on the same shelf. Mm -hmm. They're just not. They're not they in the same to, section. They ain't supposed to be together, man. And, They're uh, over here in the hanging so, bags. So everybody who camp. likes that thing, I just want to say that you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cap. All right, so that takes us to uh, just a classic news story. Jesus Christ. I'll put this up on the screen, you guys. Uh, German man rescued from woods after sex game goes awry. Ah, uh, I haven't heard anything more German than that in a while. It sounds super German, doesn't it? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he was, so, okay, so he, first of all, okay, so he just met this woman. Mm -hmm. They hook up on, I guess, on some sort of Tinder type of thing, whatever. And he lets her tie him up in the woods. In the woods. Like, I, like, it, it's, it, it really, like, it comes down to, like, at what point does that sound like, like, to whom does that sound like a good idea? Like, any of that. Any of that. Even if you've known each other for years, <laughs> when does the woods and fucking <sighs> rope... And yeah. you're outside. Yeah. I mean, like, why would you want to be so, uh, I mean, so anything, like, first of all, if there are bugs and twigs around, th my penis isn't, okay? There's no, <laughs> like, I don't want my flesh exposed to any of that, like, no. when, let alone with company, okay? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't want anybody else there, like, and then you're going to, you're going to tie my, like, how is that? I don't understand how the tie up that like of course that's not my thing. I mean, and I know it has to come down, but still, at some point, had somebody had to come up with that idea as some sort of eroticism, like where it's like, you know, I, I, uh, you know, what would make this sexier if I didn't have hands? You know, like if I can, <laughs> can you turn me into some sort of amputee, and then and we'll then we'll see how we get and this then going. we'll have sex. Like, yeah. what the fuck is what for? <laughs> like, that's just fucking stupid. And I, you know, I mean, the woman, like, I don't know what, like, what emergency did she get called away to do? Like, what came up? Who needs her? Like, because who really? I mean, who calls a woman who her hobbies include? meeting strange men and tying them up in the woods. Like, who needed her help for anything? Like, who called her? Like, did she really? I mean, I don't think she got called. Like, it, it wasn't her kids, I hope. You know? <laughs> they, they all got The babysitter's got a problem. We better Come call home. her, because, yeah, she's the responsible one we need to talk to right now. Like, I mean, she probably just... She probably just had to pick up a fucking Uber Eats order or some shit. <laughs> so it's like, it, it, she had... Because I, I, I can't imagine that person is somebody you would rely on for anything especially because she just turned around and left the guy there yeah i she it says she literally got a phone call and fled immediately like this guy was like out in the woods so they she tied him up he was tied up fully clothed i mean like, th i guess thank god for the small things he wasn't fully you know i'm like if you tie me up out in the woods man i'm just a snack for something you know what i'm saying oh wait so he had his clothes on he had his clothes on Okay. But the capper was, he had pantyhose over his head. <laughs> like, so he was pantyhose. Were they, able to, were they able to verify that he didn't do this to himself? I mean, you know, that's a damn good question. Like, it's like a Houdini thing. Like, he's doing it for the publicity. I think he was robbed and just didn't want to say nothing. I mean, I would say, you know, especially after you were humiliated, they find this hunter and this cyclist find you screaming in the and woods. And why wouldn't you, even if that wasn't the case, why wouldn't you tell him? <laughs> like, why, you, why wouldn't you just say... At this yeah, point, I yeah, got she mugged or me. whatever. You better like, go find this. Why thing. would you? Why would you say? No, no, I wanted this. Like I, I actually, I asked for this, but then the chick with the the key to the rope fucking left. I like I, uh, I. It's just it's. It, I I don't know if that's uh, 
I, I, so I, apparently this ha- happens has happened to him before and he ke- keeps wait, a box cutter on wait, him what yeah. oh yeah he, put, he, he keeps, keeps a box cutter on him for this any of this stuff you know so if something goes wrong he can you know box cut and his way said out she was too good at tying him yeah, up or she whatever was too good at her, her not work was was too good See, i don't know if i'm in this <laughs> position though like i don't know i don't know how far i'd have to be pushed to to fucking call for help you know what I mean? Like I, because every time somebody like like joggers or wh- somebody went by, I would be you know I'd be ducking like oh shit hold on be quiet <laughs> wait till they get by and then I'll I'll go back to working on this knot or whatever. But I can't imagine you know like all right I'm at the you know excuse me hi <laughs> I got a long story for you and can you undo this knot like it's. Just, but I mean, if you're bound and stuck there, man, you you're, you're, you can't move your body. Your shit starts to settle. I mean, you, well, you sleep like that. You're just standing up, tied to a tree, like just man. It, I mean, it's it, I would be after a while. I'd be I'd be begging people, come get me off this tree. <laughs> like I I just I just hope that that person is like I I okay. As soon as I get somebody to untie this. I'm not gonna do this again. <laughs> like why? why <laughs> he already you... had a knife from the last time. It right. It, it just. It just. This isn't. This is. This isn't going well for you, sir. It's just oh, not something God. that you should continue to do. I think you should find a new perversion. Is what I'm saying. I think you should. Or at least a more reliable partner. Jesus Christ. Right. Like... Yeah. But I don't know if I don't know if you're gonna find a lot of re- reliable people in that field uh-uh. of uh, weirdos. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, because. Mm-hmm. When you're dealing with weirdos, they just take a random call and run off because apparently that woman's fucking Batman, and uh, she just she's got, a doctor. She just got called away. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, oh, uh, the spleen ruptured. Uh, you gotta oh, come in. We need you. Help! Oh, <laughs> it's like yeah. what? Did you have to run off because some friend of yours was tied up in the woods? Because that's what that's. I mean, you had an emergency right in front of you. Why don't you take care of that one and then? It, 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 Jesus Christ, Fraulein. <laughs> Fucking idiots, man. Oh, Germany. And it's yeah. like, let's just think, like, it's like, even in Germany, which you would call, like, a fully explored country. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you, there's no hidden nooks of Germany. No. And you can still die in the woods. You know? Like, it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of woods you can die in yeah. here. I mean, there's there's plenty of woods, obviously. Like, yeah. if you look around, yeah, there's a lot of... There's just a lot of unexplored woods, which it should be. Mm-hmm. There's no reason to fucking No go. reason to it's go It's like the ocean. There. It's like, there's just We're no reason. There's no reason for you to be there. You know? It's like, there's nothing... Nothing to see. You know? It, it, it's, it's just awful. I mean... You're going to get fucking poison ivy or dead. Poison ivy in the ocean? No, I said oh. I mean in the woods. No, you don't get poison ivy in the That's ocean. That's what get, I thought it was. You get eaten by stuff in the ocean. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Brian. I mean, I, 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 I didn't know I needed to explain all, all right, this. Yeah, uh, all right. My half cock theories, dude. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Germany. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, Cap, that's uh, it's been a hell of a week in the news here. You know. Oh we got, yeah. We got beer power. Interesting. Yeah. We got uh, we got uh, fruit roll ups and we got right. German sex. It's, Somebody it's... reinvented the steam engine. Uh, Israel can't have any sugar and uh, and and fucking Germany. Yep. Yeah. So all we're right. taking uh, their clickbait and making it our clickbait. So yeah. That's gonna yeah. be the title of our thing. <laughs> but uh, we got a lot of shows coming up, Cap. Um, yeah. I mean, yep. basically the month of May, we're at Kimmel's. I mean, yeah, we're at Kimmel's yeah. twice this week, twice next week. No, three times next week because we got the two Tuesdays and the Thursday. Okay. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll do. We're doing seven and nine thirty at uh, the Kimmel yeah. Club this uh, this Tuesday. So yeah, next two Tuesdays, come see us at the uh, Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club, uh, and also next Thursday, what is that? The twenty eighth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Uh, May twenty fifth. We'll also be at the Kimmel Club at uh, doing the seven o'clock show. Coming to Lexington, Kentucky, comedy off Broadway soon. Uh, also, uh, uh, I'll be back at Hyenas in uh, Fort Worth and Dallas. Uh, check my website, johncaparulo.com. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, I'll I'll be there. I'm coming. We'll, He's we'll have coming. Some laughs. God damn it. We, so you can come here to Vegas. We're here every week at the Kimmel's Comedy Club, at least every Tuesday. You know, plus more. Yeah. So check Kimmel's for that schedule. Check johncaparulo.com for that schedule. Follow John at JohnCapriluto.com. If you're already here, you're probably watching us on YouTube or some platform. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you like us, share Yeah, you know how YouTube works. Yeah. So you're, you're good. 
I, I, I always think it's funny that they have to reiterate that at the end of every video. It's they, like, we, we, oh, they, my God, yeah. if you didn't tell I, me. I hit the, the thumbs first. up thing just to mark it so I know, like, okay, did I like that video <laughs> or did I watch it? I mean, I just, all right, so I know I yes. watched it, so I don't watch it again. Yeah. So, so, so yes, clickety-click, clickety-click, clickety-clack. Clickety-clack. All right. <laughs> uh, follow me at brianshenanigan.com. Uh, Killing Crickets, our other podcast, is uh, is on deck. That's going to be coming in the next couple weeks. We're excited for that. Uh, Cap Verse is still in the works. Mm -hmm. Other exciting things in the yeah, works. Yeah, uh, things. Man, there's, so there's just, uh, just come back. We're here every week. Blatheria, and we're out. Peace.